Hello everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at seven new things that are added to Laravel version 9.41.0. So let's take off. The first thing that has been added is this improvement on the queue work command output. Let me show you how it looks like in the older version of Laravel and then in the new version of Laravel. So currently here, this is the latest version of Laravel and this Lara Tips old is the older version of Laravel. Here I have this testing job and it is just logging this data and here also testing job and it is also logging the same data. Here are two projects and now here in the Lara tips the new version I have this testing job and here in the older version also I have this one okay testing job dispatch. Now let me just run php artisan queue work over here php artisan queue work like this and similarly in the older version also php artisan queue work like this both are running now let me just run this testing job dispatch let me run it two times and here also let me run two times you can also run one times but let me run it two times so here you can see in the older version of laravel we can only see this done and we can see how long it took here and only the done but here in the latest version of laravel we can also see which one is running and then done we can see two things this is the one thing that has been added and also one more thing is added which is this dash b flag so here let me run it and here also let me again just close it and add dash b and again run it so i am doing this now let me run this on lara tips old and on the lara tips new as well two times so here you can see this is the older version of laravel and we can see it is looking the same way but in the latest version of laravel we can also see this id of the job you can see here and it is also showing us running and done and this thing is contributed by nuno maduro the core member of laravel now let us move to the second thing that has been added which is this new function which is only traced on the validation rule now let me go here in the tinker well and we'll do this in the latest laravel project which is this so here i am doing this validate manually here is the id 29 and let me show you here in the database i have these categories and this 30 and 28 they have deleted at set and other do not have so we'll only be looking at this 30 and 28 and also let me show you here in the category it has soft deletes over here okay that's why we have deleted at column over here so now look at here we have this only trashed method that we can call on the rule exist. So let's say you want to restore the trashed model. Then you only want those to be restored that are trashed. So in that scenario, you can pass only trashed and then it will validate whether the given model was trashed or not. So here currently, let me pass this 30 over here. Okay this is trashed so it should pass correctly so here let me run it then you can see this id equals to 32 which means that the validation has passed but if you see here this 29 this thing is not trashed so here let me pass here 29 then it should give us the validation error if i run it then you can see here the selected id is invalid which means that the model was not trashed and this validated prevented us from going forward and this feature is contributed by michael now let us move to the third thing that has been added which is this some rules in the rule class as you can see here in the pull request there are a bunch of examples given i'll just show you that practically so here let me go over here in the user controller so save user controller here let me go to lara tips dot test over here refresh it then we have this form whenever we submit this form it will just take us to this one so here we have name this type image all the thing so now let me go over here in the save user request we are doing some validation before we had to do it like this so rule unique it is it was present previously there is nothing that is changed on this but here let's say if we wanted to check for the image then we had to do it file image and max like this we also had image and size rules that we can apply differently but it is much more handy in order to do it like this and it will auto complete all this Similarly, for the type also, we have this enum validation rule. And look at here, guys, we had to remember this file class, also this enum class, and you can see here, we have to import all of them. 
and we have to do it like this now let me say here lara tips and let me say here let's say okay here editor and let me choose another file instead of image so this lara tips also already present in the database type is we don't have this type okay in the enum let me show you that also here inside the user type enum we have normal and admin only but i have selected editor and if i click on save then you can see here the name has already been taken the selected type is invalid and the image must be an image everything is working perfectly fine but the thing that has changed is we can now access all these using the rules like this you can see here i'll comment it out so this one is same as previous one nothing has changed on this one now we can access this file using the rule colon colon file and also for the enum also we can just use rule colon colon enum which means that we don't have to import any of these files now this is just a handy feature that has been added in the latest version of laravel and it is contributed by michael as well you can see here this both of these features are contributed by michael now let us move to the fourth thing that has been added which is this add when missing method to the interacts with input tray let me show you this one also so here in the home controller let me go over here in the laratips.test this is the home let me refresh it okay so here currently we don't have anything in the query parameter so before there was this request merge if missing so let me dump request all previously and afterwards whenever we did this it would merge this type equals to default on the request you can see here previous request all and after request all okay so here if i refresh then let me just zoom it for you guys so here previously it was empty and now it added type default to the request yeah it was already present before but now what is present is this request when missing like this let me just remove this so here when missing so if something goes missing so let's say type so by default the type is not present in the request then it will enter inside this closer and then we can do whatever we want to do over here and then we can merge the type default or any other thing that we want to do so previously there was other methods that were already present like if you see here in the pull request there was when has when filled these two methods were already present so just to complete these methods this when missing method is added this type is missing so it will add this default okay let's say default 2 for now so here let me go over here and refresh then you can see default 2 over here but let's say if i just do type equals to youtube then it will say youtube because it was already present so it didn't add that default 2 and this thing is contributed by phs now the fifth thing that has been added is this dash dash cancelled flag on the q prune batches command previously there was this unfinished but now this cancelled was also added if we use this flag it will remove all the cancelled job batches and if you want to know more about this then you can look here in the documentation this link i'll be leaving the link just below that like button by default this q prune batches will remove all the finished batches that are more than 24 hours old but now this dash dash cancelled has been added if you see here and if you pass the number over here let's say 24 or let's say 48 then it will remove all those after the 48 hours or the given number of hours now let us move to the sixth thing that has been added which is this adding option for the custom manifest file name on the vid facade suppose let's say you don't want the default manifest file to be used then you can just pass this like this use manifest file name and pass the name and then it will actually use this manifest file instead of the default one and you can write this on the app service provider and this feature has been contributed by ngstwr now the seventh and the final thing that has been added is this optimize collection constraints strict and with this pull request being merged the execution speed is increased by a factor between 2 and 10 so you can see here the benchmark i'll be leaving the link of this pull request also just below that like button let me zoom it for you guys and if you just scroll bottom so you can see here all these outputs over here okay and performance also you can see everything that you want to see it is added over here